And he gives you another example that really encourages you. Go out. Who's worried about the clothes? You're, you're lacking clothes. You don't know what to put on next week. You know, clothes are so different. <laughs> you have them, but they are all old. People are struggling with clothes. You have them there, and they are men. Whenever I look into this one, they have seen me need wearing it a long time ago. Has it ever happened? We all struggle with it. You have five there. All of them. You wore them already. So you start to plan. When I'm to go to the city, they knew not this. I'll go with this in the town. May God change your situation for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh Lord, change my situation. Now God is telling you, why are you worried on what to put on? Look at the field. How many people know Malanga? Look at that flower. Because that one is artificial. But it, it was designed in a, in a way that is a natural flower. Who's worried about what to put it? Look at that flower. It doesn't go for digging. It doesn't work. It has no job. But Jesus is saying, look at that lily. Look at the lilies of the field. It doesn't dig. It doesn't work. The next verse says, But I tell you, even Suleiman in his glory he didn't wear like such of those. If you don't know Solomon, Solomon is the wisest man ever lived. Solomon is the richest man who ever lived. Suleiman ye musajja mugaga kya He had wisdom. Ye ina magezi. He had wealth. Ye ina bugaga. He had gold in his courtyard. Ye ina zabu mumbirize. And everything in his house was made up of gold. Buli chintu chalinga mu nyumba ye chalinga kya zabu. But the Bible is saying. Ne Bible ye gamba. The way God cares for the lilies. Even someone in all his glory was not clothed like one of those. That implies that God cares for you. No matter how people see you, no matter how you think about yourself, this is the mind of God. Over your life. Turn to your neighbor. God thinks well about me. And he cares for me. Now let's go to verse 30. Now if God so clothed the grass of the field which today is. Uh -huh. If God so clothed the grass of the field which today is. Mm. Mm. Oguri waka kano, mm. ate encha nga te, nga guoto, encha nga go, go kedua. Mwe, tariba ambaza nyo, okusingo mudogo, nga murina, okukiriza okutono. All these things God puts them in place as an example that you may be encouraged. That you may have hope. That you may hope in the Lord. All these things have happened. But my hope is in God. Let me start to preach. The world is looking for three things. Even us here. One, one of these things, why we go for work is that the world is looking for money. 
Everyone you see in the morning walking, you're moving. If they are not looking for money, they are looking for honor. If it's not honor, for a wife or a husband, three things, three G's, the God, Zabu, the girls or guys, uh, no, the girls or guys. Uh -huh. And the glory. Look into your neighbor's no, eyes. Even that person is looking for the three things. If they are not looking for God, they are looking for a husband or a wife. If not a husband, they are looking for glory to be seen. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why somebody stays in, in power for quite a long time. They may have the money, but they want to retain the glory. Do not follow what And don't think otherwise. Praise God. Praise God. Now the Bible says, all those things, the world wakes up in the morning to go and look for that. Every morning, the world is looking for three things. The gold, the girls, the guys, or the glory. Praise God. Praise God. But Jesus advises us. Verse 31. He says, Therefore, do not worry saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? 32. Because all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these. The world, it's what the world is looking for. Listen to me. We don't go into prayer and fasting because God doesn't know what we are praying for. Before we pray, God knows what we want. But what is God looking for? He's looking for our obedience. Praise Jesus. The moment he said, God give me a car, he knew it before that you need a car. The moment he says, Give me a wife, he knows it because he looks in the heart. But why do we seek him? Is to honor and obey his statutes. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, this is our best scripture. The whole of this month. It is verse 33. It says, but seek first. I love King James Version. It says, seek ye first. Listen. The Bible does not say, seek the kingdom of God. No, he says, seek first the kingdom of God. The Bible doesn't resist you from seeking other things. But the first things, it is to seek the kingdom of God. Someone say amen. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And all these shall be added unto you. So seeking other things is fine with God. Working is fine with God. Whatever project that you have started, that is wonderful with God. But he desires you to seek him first. All other things must be secondary to seeking the kingdom of God. Someone say amen. Now things of the kingdom of God must be given the first priority. What is the kingdom of God? 
What is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God, the Bible says. Romans chapter 14. And verse 17. For so the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking. But righteousness. Peace. And joy. In the Holy Ghost. Now righteousness and peace and joy they are the priorities for the kingdom of God. And if you look at righteousness and holiness and peace and joy these are the fruit of the Holy Spirit. As written in Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. Seek the fruit of God first. Seek the love of God. Seek the joy of God. Seek His kindness. His goodness. Then all other things shall be added to Say amen. What is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God, the Bible says, in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, in verse 20, for the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. So when we are seeking the kingdom of God, we are seeking the power of God. We are looking for the power of God first. We are seeking the fruit of God first. We are seeking the gifts of the Holy Spirit In 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 7, God gives gifts. But he gives those gifts to those that seek him first. Are we together? And the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one to, to, for the profit of all. Next verse. But to one is given the word of wisdom. For the Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit. To another the word of knowledge. Through the same Spirit. Next verse. To another faith by the Holy Spirit. To another the gifts of healing. By the same Spirit. To another again. The working of miracles. To another prophecy. To another discerning the Spirit. Different kind of tongues. Of the interpretation of tongues. Now, if we are seeking the kingdom of God, we are seeking number one, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Number two, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Those are the things that God wants us to prioritize. And then all our things shall follow us. Someone say Amen. Now let's look at this man called David. David was called a man after God's own heart. Because he put his priorities right. Now listen to me, church. Everything has order. If I was wearing my shoes, but I first put on the stockings, then I, I first put the shoes, then the stockings. I come here to preach. How do you see me here? He has forgotten. He's drunk. Did he intend it? Because number one, the first thing, he put it first before the last thing. Everything that you want to do, it has the first things first. If you want to have a child, you don't first produce a child and then marry. Say amen. Do things in a, in a godly way. Seek the godly thing first. 
If you want marriage, go through the process of God. Go and introduce. Come back to church. We wait you. And then you get married. You have children. Do whatever you want. First things first. Acts chapter 13 and verse 22. After he has removed him. He raised for them David. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I said Acts 1322. After he removed his soul, he raised David as a king. Ngakabaka. Whom we also gave testimony. Ero yego aero wako vujuri. They said I have found David, the son of Jesse. Ere na gamanda msanze Daudi. A man after my own. Mutavani wa Jesse. I know mutimo wa ogun ogun oguringo oguangi. Who will accomplish my will? Oja jatu kiri zokuwa galakuangi. Chichechi sa Daudi. Why is David called? I know mutima. A man after. God is hard. Let's look into the Psalms. Psalms chapter 5 and verse 3. Zaburi tano roku satu. David puts God first. Daudi akule mbeza katonda. His heart is on God first. Omutima kwe guli katonda kusoka. And he says, Edagama. My voice shall you hear in the morning. Edobozi liyango noruri yanga kumacha. Oh Lord. Ayi mukama. And in the morning will I declare my prayer unto you. And I will look up. You see the heart of God. He's on God first. first. Early in the morning. I will seek you. I will seek your face. In the morning I will direct my prayers. And I will look up. Where do you look first? When you have problems, when you have conditions around your life, where do you look first? We read the Psalms 121. I will look at the mountains. Where is my hope? Come Your hope is coming from nowhere. From God. From God. Wabula buja kuperi katonda. Ea tonde guru nensi. Now prayer is good any time. Kati okusabe echisera chona chirunji. Any time is prayer time. Buli chisera chona chia kusabiram. But there is that honor that is bestowed to God. Ne waloche chitiwe chiwe wakatonda. If you pray early. Ne bosaba kumacha. If you put God first. Bukule mbeza katonda. There is that honor God receives. Walue chitiwe katonda chia afuna. If you leave everything that you do for the day and begin with God, it gives him honor. Someone say Amen. Amen. David also says in Psalm Daudi, 63, Oh God, you are my God. Mukama, Only will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh. Longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. David is saying, Early in the morning, when people are still asleep, I will always seek you. That is putting God first. Jesus himself used to wake up early in the morning and he went and spoke to his father. In Mark chapter 1 verse 35 he could wake up a little bit early when other people were still sleeping and he went to the mountain and called upon the name of the Lord. And in the morning rising up a great while before day, he went out, out he went out and departed into a solitary place. And there he prayed. Jesus would pray at any time. Anywhere. He would pray at any time. Anywhere. But he understood the principle of prioritizing the things of God. Early in the 
morning, when all the people still sleeping, he went to the mountain and went in a solitary place. And there he prayed. Someone say Amen. God is emotional. He has emotions. When somebody loves you, you will love you. If somebody gives you, you will wish to give them. And those who seek God early, he loves them. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 17. 8, 17. 8, 17. I love them that love. That is wisdom. And that wisdom is Jesus. Because Wisdom originates from Jesus. So it is Jesus speaking here. And he's saying, I love them that loves me. And all that seek me shall find me. Those that find God are the ones that seek him early. It's very good to first put God first. Someone said, the last word to speak before you sleep it could be addressed to God. And the first word you speak before you wake up should be addressed to God. Say Amen. Proverbs 8.17 I am one that love me and those that seek me early now this word early does not only mean morning but it also means fast those that seek me fast shall find me now if you find God you have found everything if you find everything you have never found God you have, never, you have found nothing that's why the Bible says seek ye first the kingdom of God then all other things shall be added unto you when you find the love of God, when you seek Him, you will find Him. You cannot have an encounter with God and leave His presence the way you can. Someone say Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now listen to what the Lord is promising you. Verse 18. Riches and honor are with me, says the Lord. Yes, you have a riches and righteousness. That means if you find God, if you seek Him, and you find Him, and everything is riches. And in the beginning, I said the world is looking for riches. The world is looking for honor. If you seek God and you find Him, you have found riches, you have found honor, because God is with them. Someone say Amen. amen. And not just riches, but durable riches. The riches that God gives, they are permanent riches. When God blesses you, He blesses you indeed. The Bible says that the blessing of God brings riches, brings wealth, and you are not add sorrow with So if you find God, the blessing he will bring the blessing along with him from today stop seeking the blessing but seek the blesser once you find the blesser oh the blessing will come somebody shout hallelujah Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Now let's listen to this point. God will always begin with His word. That is number one. To begin with, it is His word. The Bible says in Genesis chapter one. Genesis chapter one. In the beginning, God. 
Before anything, in the beginning, God. So before you think about anything, before you think about your business, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the beginning, God. God. John chapter 1. You can verse 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. If you begin with the word of God, you are beginning with God. And the Bible says in Psalms 138 that God has exalted his his word. His uh, word. More than all his names. So if you have the word of God. You have God himself. And everything you ever think about. Is embedded in the word of God. Colossians chapter 1. And verse 16. The Bible says. In him. Is all things in him? For by him, we are all things created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible in the world, whether they be thrones or leadership or principles. All powers, all things, we are created by Him and for Him. So if I have the Word, I have Him who created all things, those things in heaven and on earth, the visible ones, the visible ones, all of them, if I have the Word of God, and I have Him, who has all things? Someone say Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now look 24 verse 25. We know the story of these men who had backslidden from Jerusalem. They had all expectation from Jesus. They had, the they had all the expectation from Jesus. But it seems like Jesus had let them down. When Jesus died, and before he died, he told them, I will die, and I will stay three days. But on the third day, I will rise up again. So these people waited on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And they did not do, they did not see anything. So they changed their mind. They said, we trusted that he is going to redeem Israel. But now it is three days. We don't see any change. We are moving away from Salvation. And Jesus meets them on the way. We are going to Emmaus. And Jesus asked them. What things are you talking about? And then they said, Are you a stranger in Jerusalem? You don't know these things. We are talking about Jesus, who was a mighty man in action, in power. He said he's going to rise up. But after three days, something is happening. And then he said, You foolish of faith. And slow to believe. Couldn't Jesus believe? Had to be suffer and to rise up on the third day. Yes, they are in a company of angels. They were at Nazuki. They were not close to us. Let's read. Then he said unto them, "You fools, you slow heart, you all that the prophets have spoken." Verse twenty six. Ought not Jesus to have suffered all these things to enter into his glory? Now this is my verse I want. Verse 26. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets he expounded unto them all the scriptures the things concerning about him. So if Jesus is to deal with us he begins with the word. 
So you must be a lover of the word of God. Let's begin with the word of God. Because nothing was created without the word of God. Even these boys to understand who Jesus was and that his reason from the dead he had to expound from the scriptures and beginning with Moses because he was the first prophet to prophesy about the coming of Jesus somebody say amen so beginning with Moses that is the word of God and the prophets he expounded unto them in all scriptures the things concerning himself. Ladies and gentlemen, the word of God is the weapon with which we have to begin the journey. Someone say, Amen. The Bible says, Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12, the word of God is alive. It's living. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. The Bible says, Jeremiah 23, 29. That is not the word of God. As a fire. It is not the word of God. Like, like a, a, a hammer. So if you have the word of God. You have, have the hammer. hammer. You have the fire of God. Can I hear someone say amen? amen. Lastly I have five minutes to God. Go. God. Katonda. We always begin the Lord. Timukama. We always Burijo. bless us Ajatu Muksa. when we obey Butugonda. to put him as a priority asoka. even in our possession. How many of you want to be rich? I'm number one. I want to get rich. Praise the Lord. But God, to make us rich, let us first put him first with what God has given us. Let me briefly speak about the first fruit. Someone say first fruit. Why do we? Okay, first of all, what's the first fruit? Let's read Proverbs 3 9. The first fruit. I have five minutes left. Honor the Lord with your substance. Now, in the substance, includes your offering, your tithing, your gifts, your love offering. Those are some of the things that God blesses you and you give part of what they have blessed you with. Honor the Lord with your substance or possession and with the first fruit of all your increase. Look here, I'm going to finish. There is what they call the first fruit. Some of these things are hard to speak about. But let the Lord give me the grace. The first fruit. Like our calendar year. When a year starts. Whatever God blesses you in the beginning. Apart from the tithes. The rest. Is a first fruit. Very People are getting. If you are getting 500. In the first month. When they pay you. Get the tithe. And they offer it. The remaining money. They call it the first fruit. Whichever first fruit, God said it's mine. How many of you are firstborn? Uh -huh. If you are firstborn, you belong to God. That's why the devil fights firstborn children. 
Is there anyone getting oh, one of the You have the firstborn. Oh, if you don't dedicate them before God, the devil fights them hard because he knows it's for the Lord. So the same applies Nature. to our possessions. When you read the, the, the books of the law, the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible. The Bible indicates this first fruit clearly. When you have garden plantations, harvest from the garden, the first harvest they belong to the Lord. The whole garden. You bring it here, the coins here. Turn to your neighbor. You're getting what they are saying. I know you heard, but you didn't understand. Let me explain. When you're getting 200,000, January, the moment they give it to you, don't even eat a coin. Give the tithe, the remaining, bring to the Lord. Where does God speak? about fast fruit in the New Testament. The Bible says, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33, Jesus himself is a fast fruit. Is it 32? Let me check it here. Chapter 15, chapter 15 uh, of 1 Corinthians. Is that first Corinthians? Uh, let me see whether it is the one. Uh -huh. It says, it says, Dugamba. verse 20, Abiri. but now Naikakano. is Christ Christo. risen Azukid. from the dead Mubafu. and he has become the first fruits of them that sleep. Abibasi. Abafu. So Jesus yes, is a first fruit. When God had his child, the first son, John 3.16, when he loved the world, he gave his only son, son, gave it to the world. That's why we are here. Because God gave the world the first fruit. Would you say amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even if it's chicken, the ones you have, when it is chicken, and has 12 of it, leave the, 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 the rest, bring to the pastor's office. Are you clapping for the Lord? Pastor is there. You come with a batch of chicks. Pastor I brought my offering. This is my first fruit. They don't ask you for what you don't have. They ask you for what you have exactly. If you don't have money, there is something you have. There is something you have. Somebody blesses you with clothing. In this first month, get all those clothing. Come to church. Ask the pastor or someone who can take those clothes. Ask the pastor. pastor. Who can take this cloth? It's a first fruit. My first fruit. Musumba. Nafunye chiroto. Ngabantu bale se evi intu emere. Bata dao lines zama za 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 mayuni, za rumonde, kabali sivi, nituwa vijuza waneno. Kabali sivi, mkazi. Kabali sivi, nga winja ama toke rumonde. Achite geza, there is what God is communicating. Walo katunda cha yogeda. Ata ama antu vee chalo. And the people of the village, in this, they are more than us. Someone comes with a, with a banana. This is my first one in the garden. And I've eaten them. I've eaten them. But for us in the village, we think we don't have anything because we get money. Let's embrace this. 
principle. Look at all those people that did that. Hannah. Hannah was a barren woman. Yali Mugumba. He prayed to God. Yasaba Katonda. He made a vow. Na kulu ovule ovule yamu. Oja soma samire chisoka. Rusoka kumi ne yamu. Na kulu ovule yamu. Mukama. If you bless me. Bumpo mukisa. The baby boy. No man obrins. Because he's the first from Kubanga my own. Kubanga yemu yemu vere vere murukutoa. Na mure tane mukudiza. After giving back to him, after being blessed, brought the child and lived in the house of God. And he has no clan, Samuel. He grew up in the church, old in church, died in church because he was dedicated. It's what we have to do to our firstborns. When your child is a firstborn. Just give them to the Lord to serve Him. And tell them, you, you are for the Lord. You have to serve God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah, church. Lastly, it's same by you. Matthew 17. But you come in, we are not going to read there. But verse 24. All right, we're those tax collectors they came to Jesus and told him Master, don't you pay taxes? And Peter said Jesus when we walk with you and when they came to him to Capernaum then they received it they that received tribute money came to Peter and said does your master pay tribute? Mukama wasa sulo musoro. And Peter said. Peter don't have a gamba. And Jesus said, he, he says yes. Nagamba wow. And when he had come into the house, Edavo yajja mnyumba. Jesus perceived him saying, Yesu na ulaba na gamba. Na muziza na mugamba. What do you think, Simon? Oluza chi Simon. Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Baka baka abensi bogera chi kuwo musoro. Baja kubani o musoro. Of their own children or of strangers? Kubana ba we oba kubagwira. And Peter answered. Peter and Adam. Of strangers. Kubagwira. Jesus said unto him. Yes, na mugaaba. Then are the children free? Katia ba ba na ba dembe. Ba na ba ba dembe. For them they are free. Not withstanding, lest we offend them. Yes, kumanti tu banyiza. Oba tu be sitaza. Go to the sea. Genda kunyanja. Cast and hook. Fune chenyanja. And take up the fish. That first comes. And when you have opened his mouth, you shall find a piece of money that take and give unto them for me and for you. Rise up and we pray. Rise up and stretch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me finish by this. Yes. Jesus wants people who come early. When the tax collectors came, Jesus told them, Go to the sea. And when you go to the sea, wake up in the morning. How many people wake up early? You work to go and work. But wake up seeking the Lord before seeking for what to do. Go to the sea. Very early in the morning. Get the first fish. If you are to catch fish, just go in the morning. I thank God. We woke up in the morning to seek the Lord. Through the prayer and fasting. If you have not started. Woke up early in the morning. When you reach the sea. I sent a fish there. The one that comes first. The one that comes first. The first fish. The first fish. The first fish. I believe there are many fish. Zikiza walwe vinyanja vinchi. But Jesus said the first fish. Ne ya gambe chenyanja chisoka. When you get it. Bochifuna. What are you going to do with it? Open its mouth. 
That means even if you are going to put God first, you have to put in effort. You have to work. You have to seek for job. That is opening the mouth of the fish. And God says, I have blessed money in the mouth of the fish. It is your, it is your effort to open it and to pick the coins from the fish. And when you get the money, pay the tax. Pay for God. It is talking over tithes. Pay for God. Pay for Jesus and then pay for your soul. You give a tithe and you pay your bills. Neighbor, what have you learned? What have you learned? Put God first. Put God first. In your finances, put God first. In your business, put God first. Be a fast food giver. Give a fast food this month. Whatever God blesses you with, bring, bring it into the house of God. You are going to see the overflowing of God is blessed. Raise up your hands. And speak to the Lord. Tell him God. In this area I am hard. But help me. Help me. Help me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. The, the Bible says, Bible if we do your will, you will do our will. What does it give us the scripture? It says, Psalms 18. And verse 25. He says to the merciful, I will show myself merciful. To those that are pure, I will show myself pure. Psalms 18, 25. And to those that are shrewd, in their ways, I will show them, I show myself shrewd. With the merciful, you will show yourself merciful. With a bright man, you will show yourself a bright man. The next verse says, With a pure, you will show yourself poor. And with a forward name. You will show yourself forward. Father in the name of Jesus. As you are merciful. Show yourself merciful. To your people. To those that are faithful. In their first fruit. In putting you first, you will put them first. As this year unfolds, putting them first. Because they have put you first. Some of them are fasting. They are praying and fasting. Father, make them a priority. As you bless your people this year, begin with them. Begin with them. Begin with their finances. Begin with their business. Begin with their ministry. Bless them, Lord God. Lift them up, oh Father God. As they have started with you, they have gone deep into you. God, go deep into their lives. Open their eyes, Lord. That they may see the hidden riches that you have prepared for them. As the word says, I have not seen. I have never heard. I have never entered in our hearts. The things that were prepared for them. That love your name. Father, reveal all things to us. In prayer and fasting, bring revelation of certain things. Father, I pray in these 40 days of prayer and fasting, bring a revelation of your father. Bring spiritual insights. Bring prophecies in their lives. Enlighten us, Father. Enlighten our eyes that we may see and discover the wiles of the devil. Whatever the devil's plan against us, have the eyes. Let us have the eyes that see in the universe. 
God, I bless you. And I thank you, Lord, because you are doing exceeding beyond our prayers in Jesus' name. Come on, someone, praise God. And clap your hands unto the Lord. One more time, clap your hands unto the Lord. Clap your hands unto the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah to the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, take a take a uh, view of why you we want to give to the Lord. We want to make him a priority even in our finances. Put God first. He will put you first. Put God 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 first. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless every giver. That those giving their tithes, that those giving offerings, that those giving love offerings, that those giving fast food, I pray a blessing upon every giver. In Jesus' name. Every sickness move out of this house. If you come sick, if you come sick, Go back healed. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and, and the, the love, love of God, God and the, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us all, all now and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. 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 May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you. May the Lord give you peace. May the Lord strengthen you and guard you with the strength. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you all. In Jesus' name. I just want to remind you those, those leaders. The pastor spoke about it last Sunday. Pastor, I choke it Sunday with day. All those that have been leading, I think three people. You choose three people. Out of your committee. You want to choose an